Hi guys and welcome back. In this video we'll be talking about a new feature which has come in Unreal 5.2 and this is going to be field notify. Now if you guys have any questions or suggestions you can go ahead and join my discord server and check out my patreon page. Link to those will be down in the video description if you guys do wish to support me. Now what is field notification? Now I have a simple health bar here so I've just created this right now. And let's assume you want to do something like this. Let's say I have this update health function. I'll get to why we'll use that later. And I also have this get percent function. You don't need it. It's going to automatically create it. I'll tell you what it is. And in my level blueprint, I'm just going ahead and setting my health to a random float. Now, let's say we wanted to update our health bar based on the health value. Conventionally, you could either manually write an event dispatcher, which would be tedious, of course, but it's probably a good way to do it. But the lazy way, which many people choose, is to create a binding. And you can go ahead and put the health variable in here. And same thing you could do with the text block as well. So you can create a binding. And inside the binding, you can go ahead and put the health variable. Now everything seems fine and it is obviously going to work. So it set some value, set another value again. And this time it's another different value. Seems to be decreasing. Now it increased. So the problem with this is not actually apparent. But if I just go ahead and do a simple print string in this get text. So I will call this one. I'll just put one here just so that we can identify it. And here, let's say I put two. So get percent is two. I mean, it barely matters, but you'll understand why. Now, if I just go ahead and run this, you would notice that it's, it's just infinitely printing one and two. So basically every frame, it's actually calling that. But this is not required, right? So what you can do is you can use uh, a system called field notification. Now the problem with just setting the variable is that the progress bar will not get updated. Now I could just do set health, which I am already doing, but the problem is I'm not able to update my progress bar. So I'll just remove the binding. So if you have the binding, you won't be able to call this. If you call this, it'll, it'll be overwritten and your binding is going to be removed. So I'll just remove these two bindings. So it will not compile. I'll just go ahead and change that. So I'll remove the binding and I'll remove the binding here as well. Now what I can do instead is on this health variable, I can go ahead and do something like this. I can go ahead and have a field notify, compile this. And once you compile this, you should get something like this. And in your event construct, you can type in add field value change delegate and you can just drag this in over here now it says it's not compatible because there is a specific signature now i'll just drag in help there's a specific signature which your function needs to have you can just create a custom event and have that delete this update help so i'll copy the name delete this and put that in here now if i go ahead and use this now if I go ahead and do update health, nothing will be called on tick firstly. And you'll also notice that nothing is quite happening right now. That is simply because of the fact that this delegate right here was probably not bound yet. So simple thing we can do is we can set it after some time. Anyways, the health is not going to be updated immediately after the player is spawned. So okay, if I just give a small delay, for example, now this is going to work and there is nothing running on tick. One more thing which you could do is you can also bind it over here, here or wherever you have this object reference, you can go ahead and bind it. So you can say whenever the health changes, you can call this function. So all it does is it, it's going to see when health changes. So whenever you call this setter node, so whenever health changes, this function or this custom event is going to be called. So I can print over here, health has changed. 
health has changed. Now, if I go ahead and press play, oops, I think I missed out on something. So the target will be the widget, obviously, because we are binding the field in the widget. Now, you see, health has changed. As simple as that. And our progress bar is updated as well. So that's basically a gist of how you can use the field notification. You can use it for any type of variable. So you can use it for stuff like updating your health bar. And maybe if the health updates, you could put a field notification. Check if the health is uh, less than zero or something. And do some actions accordingly. Stuff like that. Maybe if you have an inventory system, updating the inventory is a good operation to perform on this. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys did find it helpful, make sure you guys do leave a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.